What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and welcome to Beholder. Now according to the infinite wisdom of the internet, a Beholder is goddamn nightmare fuel. So here we are, as a giant tentacle face named Carl Stein. Apparently we're the new landlord of a class D apartment block on Krishvice 6. You must go there immediately and begin working. The experimental drug we injected into your system during your medical exam suppresses your need for sleep. Welcome to the elite official rank. Ministry of Allocation. That's not a real ministry. It's like saying Ministry of Putting Stuff in Places. It's not a real thing. But beholders, giant tentacle monsters with one huge eye. Those are definitely real. There's one hiding under your bed. Aww. Look at it, he looks kinda sad. And now he's gone backwards in time. With a receding hairline. Oh no, wait, that's a different person. This is a very confusing game already. I, I think it would make more sense if the tentacle monsters showed up. Aww. Look at her, she's so happy. And care... Oh, no. <laughs> now we're not happy. Now we're beating up poor people that are sort of tied to a chair. This game is all over the place. One moment it's all happy and joy and dancing and sunshine. The next moment, eh, let's beat up a hostage. I feel kind of bad for this guy. Not only is he a hobbit, but also his glasses are broken. Now I imagine that the Shire does not have its own spec savers. Faux Patria! Which is, what, a battle cry? Something that the people of this town yell at the moment of orgasm? We really need more context here. So which one are we? Because none of those look like tentacle monsters. I kind of want to be the man's briefcase. Nobody would expect a government spy to be in your briefcase. Either that or the teddy bear. Oh, now that's just unfortunate. That's, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, there's absolutely no sympathy from the family there. Look at this. Look at this man with his busted well, up face. How dare he walk in front of us. Ministry of Allocation. This is the chief. It an exclamation mark means you have a job. Ah, and the subtitles are really small. That's mm, wonderful. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. You will remain vertical. That is your only position. We're merely driving pests out of the house. It's of no concern to you. Of course, agree. You know, I'm selling myself for a nice house. Why bother standing up for what I believe in when I can get a plasma screen TV? Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. If a person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task, there's only one outcome. They get a verbal warning. Mm, this, is, this is a nice authoritarian state. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. Even when they're doing their business. Do I have CCTV cameras inside people's bathrooms? I mean, unless people are making moonshine in their bathtub, I don't think I need to know every bit of business that goes on in this apartment building. You will follow the every step of everyone in the apartment and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. Ah, the moral dilemma faced by every civil servant everywhere. Be a good public servant, or sacrifice your friends. What's it going to be? Observe and record, surveillance cameras will help. So it's like Five Nights at Freddy's, except with less murder. Why is there a family of three living in the basement? <laughs> is squatters' rights a thing in whichever presumably Eastern European country we're in? Directive number 6037. Not quite as catchy as Order 66, but it has to do. It is illegal to harbour criminals or hide their actions. Ah. State directives are mandatory. Inquiries and messages are not mandatory. Wow, that walking animation. I love everything about it. Alright, let's search some pieces of furniture. He's... <laughs> Did he just take his trousers off to sit at a computer? Oh, I'm glad to see the game is so immersive.
Also, it's in full 3D, so I can move forwards and backwards, as well as side to side. That's not going to get confusing when I end up walking into a door frame. You know, we really could have hidden these security cameras better. <laughs> Look at that, they just sat there in the open. Can't you get any of the little orb-shaped ones that sit sort of flush with the ceiling? That people think are actually mm -hmm. smoke detectors, but they're really spying on them. Ah, oh, excellent, a reward for putting up two tacky little cameras. Is, is that how it works in real life? If I walk into a block of flats with a bunch of little disposable cameras, do people pay me for doing it? Watch the tenants closely, file a report as you gather evidence, and then leave it in the hands of those lovely gentlemen with the batons. I... that, that was meant to be a police reference, but it makes it sound like the cheerleading squad is going to break into this block of flats at some point. The Ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. What about murder? Is murder acceptable, yes or no? The key I gave you opens every door in the building. That's not going to cause problems at all. Make sure your tenants leave before you enter their apartments. Just in case. I don't know, they're jerking off in the bathroom or something? So, hey there, small child. You planning any crimes against the state? Oh. So, small child is not planning crimes against the state. She's in fact talking to a door. We have a TV. Will they take our TV? No, nobody will take the TV. That's good. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad the TV of all things is safe. And of course the phone is bright red, because apparently Superman works for the Ministry of Order. Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. What would have happened if they rejected it? Would that just be the end of the game? Thank you for giving us five pounds for this game. This is it. You get two minutes of talking to your family. Hope you enjoyed. Am I ready for a task? Heck yeah. Establish surveillance in apartment two. Jacob foreign name lives there. Oh, those damn foreign namers. Grrr. Good thing that... <laughs> good thing that we put up bloody CCTV cameras in their kitchen. That'll show them. Only enter an apartment when the people aren't there. Gotcha. Huh? Blimey, me, this is a big old building. It's like the XCOM base, except with fewer aliens. Actually, I don't know about fewer aliens thinking about it. There are quite a few illegal aliens here, I'd wager. And look at that, there's people leaving the flat and coming downstairs, probably to say hello and to welcome us to the neighbourhood, so I'm going to break into their house. I'm so, such a good neighbour. Just going to spy through the keyhole. Nobody in there. Let's just open it up. She's going to the lift, she's going to the lift. Get out of the way, shut the door, shut the door. That's a bookshelf, you idiot. That's okay, I can't shut doors behind me. Excellent. And now the door's locked itself again. This task is just going wrong. Examine the space heater. Hmm. A Western device like that, they like, shouldn't have it here. Oh, stealing is bad. I can't steal from people. But watching them sleep, that's a okay. I don't have any CCTV cameras. <laughs> God damn it, this plan's gone wrong from the start. I broke into someone's house in order to spy on them. Forgot to bring the spying equipment with me. Just gonna... Th this didn't happen, okay? Nobody tell the Ministry of Order. All apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume them. My God. This, this place has gone mad with power. I have to destroy all of the apple. Where would I even find an apple? Overcome by another fit of paranoia, the Ministry of Order now considers every foreigner and foreign culture enthusiast a spy. Oh, those poor weeaboos. However will they survive now? Just gonna break into a different apartment? Gonna dismantle a chair? That'll help me get a security camera. Hmm, I know how crafting systems works. Ooh, I can prank call somebody from a different phone. That's always a good idea. 
wait, wait, wait. Deck of cards and likes to gamble. Um, oh, that's very naughty. I may have stolen the deck of cards and then put them back again. But, <laughs> hey, you know, being a government employee is hard, all right? Sometimes I just take things by accident. It's not my fault, I swear. A broken bottle can be turned into a weapon. Oh, there's a lot of evidence against Jacob Manischek now. The slippery snake doesn't know what hit him. I mean, presumably what hits him is going to be the police in like 10 minutes after I'm done here. Ooh, that's the bus. Is, is Nobody's getting off the bus. Does anybody actually live here? Um... How do I get out? There's, there's only one exit and there are two old women in front of the door. Guessing I can't climb out the window. Okay, let me on the bus, let me on the bus. I need to go to the shop to buy security cameras and the bus just left me. Cool. Thanks, bus. Somebody's going to be getting a message from the Ministry of Order before too long. Wait, is, is that the store? <laughs> Are we Resident Evil 4 it here? My compliments. Oh, do you trade in security cameras? Nope, just whiskey and cardigans. It's a niche market. Oh, I am the stupidest sausage who ever sausaged. The shop is accessed with the back button. It is not part of the computer system downstairs, it is not part of the fridge downstairs, it is not in any way related to leaving the house. Uh, there we go, one new security ca- two new security cameras, there we go. Alright, let's break back into the house, and nobody has come home yet. It's, are we certain that anybody lives here? I mean, it's been like 48 hours since we started, or in-game at any rate, and nobody has been here in all of that time. And now the bus rocks up. Of course, <laughs> this is when I get caught, isn't it? This is when the person comes back, notices me rummaging around their sofa. Call the Ministry and report the completion of my task. Heck yeah. We're not going to get taken away by whatever the variant of the KGB is in this part of the world. <laughs> Dial the number. Four. Report a thing. Ministry of Order, congratulations, your first task was a success. You are rewarded. Oh, but $500 just for putting up one little Polaroid camera. Jacob Manischek is violating state directives. Spy on him with surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, quick time events happen. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. Hell yeah. Question, why is the old lady thinking about guns? Is, is that something I should be concerned about? Ah, and the small child has a gambling problem. That's good. Real just excellent. What happened? What's wrong with you? Why are you dreaming about Ocean's Eleven? That man pushed me. What man? I was walking down the stairs, even though you're in the basement. Uh, okay. And he... Uh, the nasty man in apartment two. Oh boy, can you say planting evidence? It's, um, everybody's noticing the creepy guy in our kitchen. This is the creepy guy whose apartment I broke into. Yeah, what is he doing here? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I broke into your house last night. Did I win a competition called Who Gives a Damn about the new manager? Is he wearing a balaclava? I mean, even in this game where everybody is represented by silhouettes, he appears, his face is all sort of misshapen. Talk seriously. Don't touch my family, you bugger. What will you do to me? Oh, don't give me a challenge. Do not give me a challenge. Do you think you're the most important person here? Yes. That's <laughs> same as any place I end up in. Go and have lunch, pig. Does... Jacob understand how insults work. Should I go get a big book of insults just handed to him just in time for him to get taken away by the state? Give him something to read in prison. 
He's, he's really aiming for a fight, isn't he? <laughs> okay, so there's no option for me to just punch this guy in the face. That's a shame. Hello. Oh, it's so nice to meet somebody who's polite and not rummaging around my kitchen in a balaclava. I'm Mary Shimmer. Shimmer. Did you bring your family here? No, I left them behind. They're still in Moscow. I came here by myself. Okay, so what we need now is evidence of Jacob being involved in criminal activity. We know he's got a broken bottle in his flat. That's not really criminal, though. That just proves he's clumsy. Drugs are a huge problem in society. Wow, this newspaper is really going for the low-hanging fruit here. Let me just check. Yep, creepy guy's still downstairs complaining about a lack of umbrellas in the Soviet Union. A big problem, that. Trotsky was going to deal with it. That's why they had to put him down. Now, let's see. Is there anything criminal going on in here? Uh, the broken bottle. Uh, it's not really too bad. An armchair. Uh, nothing in the armchair. A bookcase, yes. Maybe he's got like a pyromaniac's guide to building flamethrowers in here. Or he could have zero books. That's... Wait, why do you need a bookcase if you have zero books? Singing in front of the Ministry of Order is now prohibited. The production of drugs is prohibited. All apples are prohibited. Boy, this government is really going to town. Oh shit. Um, I somehow got away with that. <laughs> As Jacob walks into his flat, I run out the door. And somehow he doesn't notice. That's cool. <laughs> Don't worry about me, Jacob. I totally wasn't spying on you. Hey, what? <gasps> he's talking about drugs. Um, that's very naughty. Yeah, he's... He, wait. He's not talking on the phone. He's just talking out loud about drugs. Oh, boy. I sure do love me some of that heroin. I hope nobody's put a security camera directly above my face. He likes to gamble. He likes to drink. He, does, he makes drugs on his coffee table. He's... <laughs> I don't remember that part from Breaking Bad. Just gonna file myself a report. Don't worry, Jacob. It's got nothing to do with you or the fact I broke into your house. Gonna sprint all the way to the phone. Give old Superman a ring and tell him that somebody here is being very... Well, um, hang on. End conversational reference. Oh, damn it. I have to write a report first. Crap, okay. Alright, time for some paperwork. Oh, boy. I'm really feeling it. Write a report. Mr. and Mrs... Oh, we actually have to pick the names. That's going to come back to bite me at some point in the future. There we go. He makes drugs. So we put that in the report. He likes to gamble. So we we put that in the... We put that in the... Okay, we... <laughs> Occasionally going to the slot machines is not enough to get somebody arrested. Yet. The police went to the apartment to inspect it. Heck yeah. Look at them go. All of the police appear to be giant meat bags. I mean, really, their shoulders are larger than their head. That's incredible. Why are there so many old people in my house? If, is there something about this part of the world where old people just have to congregate in basements? Oh, no. Oh. Who could have seen this coming? The police have kicked a man so hard he has fallen through his own bed. Didn't realise that the cops in this part of the world were actually super soldiers. Oh no, now he's just kicking him in the crotch for really no reason. The man was already leaving his flat. <laughs> There's a difference between police brutality and the police just being dicks for the sake of it. I imagine that's an official, <laughs> an official reprimand right there. Police brutality, you can probably get away with it. Police being a dick for no reason, eh, you're in trouble for that one. <laughs> We're, really, we need some sort of theme music here. Maybe the Imperial March. 
Also, I like how the second cop is just standing there. Hasn't moved from that spot the entire time he's been here. His partner must get really pissed off with the fact that they don't actually share the work, and he just kicked a man into a van. Job done. Report the drug maker. 100% We must repair the apartment. Oh. Why do I have to repair the apartment? <laughs> That's boring. Getting people kicked out of their homes? That's fun. Going in and repairing the aftermath? Eh, not so much. So with that in mind, I think it's time to end. Thank you all for joining me. Next time around, we'll talk about umbrellas with a six-year-old. Looking forward to it. If you've got a game you'd like to see played on this channel, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. And until next time, Carl is watching you. Farewell, everyone.